Today, we are gonna compare the small to the medium Dagny Dover Landon Carryall. The Landon Carryall is available in five sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. The bags are made of neoprene, which I believe is also typically used to make wetsuits, like when you go surfing or diving, that sort of thing. They are known to be a lightweight material that is water resistant and can be hand washed. The bags typically come in about six core colors. So there is onyx, which is essentially a black. There is also a heather gray, which is a lovely gray color with, uh, I would say, specks of a darker gray. There is also a dark moss, which is essentially an olive green color. There is storm, which is a navy blue. They also have Dune, which is a very popular one. That one's sort of a dusty pink. And the most recent core color I would say is called Camel, and that looks like a dark beige. When I had purchased my bags, Camel was not listed as one of the core colors. So I believe that one is a newer one, probably from the last couple years. I would say for fall, winter, as well as spring, summer is usually when they come out with new colors. Let's start with the medium bag. So this is the one that I actually purchased first. At the time I was contemplating between the medium and the large size. I was more so looking for a bag for my everyday work commute, realistically just to carry my lunch with me, my water bottle, and whatever other things I wanted to bring to the office with me. So the medium bag measures at about 14 and a half inches in length. I believe seven and a half inches in width and then nine inches in height. The bags do have the option of snapping down. When it is snapped down, the opening of the bag, I believe is around 12 inches. But again, you can unsnap it so that it is a little bit bigger, a little bit roomier. The opening at that point would be about 20 inches. So you can definitely fit a lot more in there when you have it unsnapped which is a really great feature. And on the back of the bag, there is a luggage sleeve, which is also great. Another reason why I really like this bag. So as much as I wanted it to be an everyday work bag, I figured this would be a great option as well for when I travel, because then I can just always um, attach it onto my suitcase. The back also has this handy phone pocket, which I use all the time. And it's just really easy to slip my phone in there so I don't have to constantly be opening and closing my bag to try to get my phone. And then plus this bag, the handles on this, I would say the drop is around 11 inches. I think that's what it says on the website. It's supposed to be an 11 inch drop. And I actually do think that's perfect as a shoulder bag. So the phone pocket is usually on the inside when I wear it on my shoulder because I wear it on my right side. So I do love that. So the inside of the bags are gonna be similar for essentially all bags. There are two mesh pockets on each side of the bag. So you can put your water ball in one side, anything else is really important on the other. There is a zippered pocket, which is great. So you can, I usually put my wallet and stuff in there because then I can at least zip it closed. And then there is also a laptop sleeve with an elastic closure and the medium size bag will fit a 13 inch laptop in the, in the laptop sleeve. However, if you don't use laptop sleeve, you can of course always just fit a larger one if you just wanna put it in the middle. And all of the bags do come with a elastic key leash and there is a little hook in the inside of your bag to hook the key leash to. It does come with a mesh pouch. Some people will hook to the key leash. I actually usually hook my keys to this, but again, if you wanna put anything really important in your pouch, you can hook it onto here so that you can easily find it in your bag. It did also come with a shoe bag, which I don't really use because I never really carry my shoes in here, as well as a crossbody strap. So there are these hooks on each of the bags and they all come with a crossbody strap so if you want to use it like that you have the option to for this size i always use it as a shoulder bag that really works for me which is another reason why i didn't end up going with the large one i just felt like the large one for what i wanted it for would be too big as an everyday bag it would also it would be a really great personal bag for traveling i think I find that the medium size easily fits underneath the seat in front of me. So it is a great personal bag for traveling, but because the material is soft and, and bendable, 
you could easily get the large size I find as long as you're not overstuffing it it should easily fit underneath the seat in front of you so I ended up getting the small one because I just found that this was really great for taking into the office but I wanted a bag for essentially the weekends when I was literally just carrying my wallet maybe a small little makeup pouch and I just wasn't gonna need a lot of things all the time so I ended up going with the small I'm um, having looked at the extra small I just thought the extra small would be like way too small for me like I wasn't gonna be able to fit anything in there so I figured let me go with the small and I got it in the storm color the navy blue because for me I think I have a lot of items that are black so I wanted something else that was kind of a neutral to me navy blue is a neutral people might disagree but to me navy blue is a neutral and the inside of the bag is exactly the same just on a smaller scale so again you have your two side pockets your two mesh pockets on the side you have a zipper pocket as well as a laptop sleeve however in this small size I think if anything you might only be able to put a tablet in here you definitely wouldn't be able to get a laptop it's too small for that and as well comes with the mesh pouch comes with the key leash it did come with a shoe bag I'm just not sure where it is and then all the bags come with a dust bag as well come with a Dagny Dover branded dust bag for when you're not using it and the small one measures about 12 inches in length, six inches in width, and about seven and a half inches in height. So for me, the drop on this handle, I know the website says that it is 10 inches. However, I feel like it's so much like less when you compare the two. Like, I feel like it's so much smaller than the medium one. Like the medium one easily fits over my shoulder. I find this one is a little bit uncomfortable when it's on my shoulder as much as like yes it fits it just doesn't seem comfortable and then plus i'm basically like squishing the bag when i have it on my shoulder here so i typically do not use this as a shoulder bag maybe if your arms are a little bit smaller than mine you can easily use it but for me it's not very comfortable uh that way so typically what i do with this bag is i'm either always holding it in my hand or i use my crossbody strap and i've just made it the smallest size and I'll use this as my shoulder strap instead of the handles. And I find that really works for me. Another reason why I really liked it. Okay, right, and then I just at least have a lot more room. And then that way, if I did need to fill this up, it is comfortable under my arm. So that's how I use these now, bags. I wanted to address some cons with these bags. I find that the zipper is incredibly noisy. When you have your bag closed and the zippers are touching each other, when, do you hear that? This is what you hear when you're locking with these bags. For me, I've gotten, I've pretty much gotten used to it. I usually have my headphones in when I'm on my way to work anyways, so I don't really hear it as much. Maybe it annoys other people, I don't know. So not a deal breaker, but just something to think about that might incredibly annoy you, not sure for me, it's okay. Another issue that I have, and this is more so with the black, so all of the bags, the interior of the bag is the same color as the exterior. So my bag here is navy, so inside is navy. This one's black, the inside is black. So I just find that with the black one, it is harder to find things in here because of this, it's just a lot darker inside. So again, not a deal breaker, just something to keep in mind if you are looking to get the black one. Um, another issue I haven't had, but I have seen other reviews on it, is that the bag creases and you will get um, pilling on it. So as you can see, like I don't really have any pilling on either of these bags. However, again, I don't really use them every single day. I think I, I bought it like December 2019 and then I probably used it for like two months going into the office three, four times a week. And then of course pandemic hit and I didn't really get to use it anymore. So it was just been away in the closet. So I haven't really had any issues with pilling, but I have seen other people um, have a lot of issues with that and creasing. Again, no creasing that I can really see. Nothing that bothers me at, at least. If you're not using it, maybe stuff it so that there isn't creasing. I think there's a little bit here, but nothing that I'm very upset about. Um, another one 
also like as much as these are cons like it's it's gonna be up to you how much this will bother you these things don't necessarily bother me but i can 100 percent understand why it can bother someone else so i just want to let you guys know i can't recall what the metal or this coating is so definitely on my blue one because i use the crossbody strap on this one more i can definitely see some discoloration on these metal hooks and then even on the inside of these clips my black one i don't have a problem because i never use this one as a crossbody bag but definitely with the blue it gets a lot more use in the crossbody style and i definitely have an issue with with some of the coloring coming off here i don't use it enough that i'm really concerned about the entire thing wearing away but if Again, if it's going to be your go-to bag, if you're going to use that every day, that is something to keep in mind as well. But other than that, overall, I do really love both of these bags. I use them for very different reasons, which is why I, I do love the size options that they give you. Depending on what your needs are, what you're going to use it for, if you're going to use it as a little everyday bag, as a maybe going to work bag. I know a lot of people also use these as diaper bags, so that's a great idea too. You just have to see what size fits for you so i hope this was helpful if you want to see what i keep in my work bag i will put the link to the last video up here and you can go check out that one thank you guys for watching i will see you next time bye